Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. And man, I, I love that background, don't you? The, the red and the, the white begonia, the, the red begonias and the white mandevelas in the background. I mean, they're just, they're stunning. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. When I walk by, I just love looking at them. And Petunias are further in the back, back in the back there, you know. And so, it's amazing. I mean, my garden is alive. And it's still growing. And the reason why I'm, I'm doing this video is because Torpedo Pot grows your food with no human intervention. It creates beautiful moments like this that you want so badly. And you don't have to leave your house to get it. All this beauty is in the back of your house. You get to have it 24 hours a day, anytime you want it. It's up to you. So what we did is that we created a torpedo pot. It grows your food for you. Well, it's doing such a good job that I think this planter might be able to achieve, I think five pounds of uh, chives this year. Five pounds of chives from one planter that grows your food all by itself with no human intervention. It grows. And so if I wanted a side meal of chives in my, my, my uh, if I wanted to taste the chives in my meal, I would just come down and cut it down. But it's been growing so much that I've had to cut it over and over and over again. And you can expect to have chives for at least two people every, every I would say every two weeks, two people. Not comfortably, but you could eat and have a great time every two weeks. And I think that's fantastic. Fantastic. So, Darren Addison, TorpedoPot.com, where we make self-growing planters that grow your food for you with no human intervention. And it's been growing this plant and all of these plants for a while now. As a matter of fact, they'll be replaced with winter plants. And I've been eating berries. It's hard for me to get rid of these plants when they still are bearing so much fruit. And so we, when we say the word that uh, your plants, they grow to their full life cycle. This is what the full life cycle looks like. Until the very last breath of life comes out of that plant, it will grow. And they'll grow it perfectly. I hope that makes a little bit more sense. And it grows lots and lots of, of plants. So you can schedule it around your food supply. So this is not a weed. I think this is dill. And now it's turned hard. And uh, we've got some tomatoes and peppers. and Everything's just like and everywhere. You don't have to go looking for it. It's just like stick your hand in, pull something out. You're going to eat. You're going to get something to eat. The tomatoes. It's growing in here with other peppers. Now these are the peppers that I use that I use every day. I come out and I eat these peppers. So rather be jalapeno, cayenne, California wonder. Uh, all of them are growing here. And you get a chance to see all of the food inside of it. and how many we've already picked. And still yet, so more to come. So much more to come. And they're beautiful. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? That is beautiful. That is, that is, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. That is a stunning piece of fruit, man. That is stunning. Man. That is a stunning piece of fruit. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just broke a limb on my plants. Let me pull back out of here. But it is beautiful, and it's beautiful all inside. Anyway, it's where you want to look. It's this beautiful. So it grows your food with no human intervention, and it's trying to do its best. We just cut this off about, about uh, three days ago, and already it's starting to come back. So we'll have chai. And the peppers are all over the place. But I love this. I've got to get some uh, tomatoes to still growing. It's 
checking on my dog. Hey, Annie? Come. Hey, Annie? Okay, checking on my little baby. She's in the house. We have deer, and I want to have to attack my dog. So, um, so, with that being said, let's take a look at these beets. Let's see how they're doing. Wow. I mean, we've already picked three big, three or four big beets from out of this plant. I think there might be a total of about 20 something beets in this plant. And if you start to go through it, you'll start to see a little bit more of them. They're so leafy. And we picked the biggest ones. We didn't, uh, we didn't wait. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's really big there. Look at that. Wow. That's a big beat. Man, let's pull it. Let's pull it out. I can use it tomorrow. Come on. Let's do it together. You ready? Let's pull this beet out and see how a beet grows in a torpedo pot. A self-growing planter that grows your food with no human intervention. These plants have been growing in these planters now for about three years. And it grows your beets. And look at that, look how big that is. Let's just look at all the other ones around there, make sure that's the biggest. Yeah, this is big, right? That looks pretty big. Yeah, these look kind of big. No, not there yet though. These, no, that's not big, that's not big, that's big. Yeah, so, no, no, not quite yet. So, I haven't quite found the big one yet. So, I'm going to step back and is there big ones in there, possibly? No, no big one here. Okay, a lot of beets, guys. That's what I'm trying to get you to see, what's going on. Now, you're about to pull the biggest beet. Well, I pulled one, one beet out before, of the torpedo pot, which grows your food with no human intervention. And all I do is walk up to my plants, I grab it, and I pull it out. Voila, you guys wanna see? I wanna get these weeds and all these leaves out of the way so we can see this big beet. This is my biggest beet for the year. My other two were big, but this I think is the biggest. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, this is so exciting. You see that pill bug on top of the, uh, the bee? They help break down the roots and digest them. They are very crucial to your plant's growth. This per this bee, this, uh, this, this, um, this pill bug is very important to my ecosystem. I want him or her to survive as much as possible, okay? They mean a lot to me. Let's see if I can shake him off. No, he's, he's pretty strong. Let's just shoot him off. Yeah, there he goes. Will you look at that beat? Are you trying to tell me that's not award-winning? That's not an award-winning beat? That's beautiful. Wow, guys. That's fabulous. So pot growing your food with no human intervention. Dude, that is amazing. Let torpedo pot grow all of your food. Stop fighting the ground. Stop fighting the air. Let it grow perfect food that you've never seen before. That's amazing. That is just purely amazing. I love that. This is not my biggest beat, but I love this. I really like this. She's definitely one of the top. No question about it. That is absolutely, look how beautiful that is. Look how healthy that is. You're, you're, you're watching record moments now where people now can actually sit down and calculate their gardens out and find out what they want to do. So I'm going to take this beat with me. Amazing. All right, so curl parsley is in here. I don't eat much of that. That's not grass. That's, those are uh, chives. And so I've been growing chives in these planters here, but... More importantly, what I'm really excited about is my spinach is about to come up. Yeah, uh-huh. This is a viney spinach, Malabar spinach. Very viney spinach. And it comes up and it just, it just vines itself out. I love it, I love it. I had to really get used to it at first because it has the okra taste to it. 
very okery taste to it. But otherwise, it's doing really good. It's doing really, really good. And so they're going to come down like vines all over this area here. Put my beat down. All over this area here. And it'll all be viney. And that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a lot of them coming out and be viney. A beautiful viney plant that tastes very delicious and is extremely healthy. Grows. So this whole area will be in vines in about two to three weeks. Then we have our kale growing over here. It's kicking off pretty good. I love the kale and the collard greens. Now, because I'm really taking this growth seriously, you can see what age they are right now, how big they are right now. I will use a really dilute organic solution. Um, try to 3, 12, 12, but dilute it very, very small. You don't want to burn your plants, but this is where they start taking off. And this is when they need that nutrition the most. Give it to them. Don't starve them. Don't hold them back. Let them do what they do. Dow Radisson, torpedopot.com. And of course, we got my collard greens that are growing up here. They're off to a good start. Lightly, I want to do a light on just that right there. That should be it. Dow Radisson, torpedopot.com. Talk to you guys later.